Hi everyone and welcome to another werewolf horror movie review and today I will be reviewing The Howling. Yes! It's from 1981 from the US and it's directed by Joe Dante. It's written by John Sayles and Terence H. Winkless based on a novel by Gary Bradner. So it's starring Dee Wallace, Patrick Mackney, Dennis Dugan, Christopher Stone, Belinda Balaski, Elizabeth Brooks and Ke Kevin McCarthy. So in this one we have Dee Wallace who plays a journalist TV reporter and she has been harassed uh, by this character named Eddie for a while. So she decides to trap him. Uh, so she has the help of the police and they come up with this plot to get Eddie. So Dee Wallace, she agrees to meet up uh, with Eddie in this video store and she does, she goes alone but you know the police are uh, surveilling her and having audio contact with her so she meets Eddie and then Eddie is like turn around she turns around and she doesn't really know what she sees but you know Eddie is not human or part human and then the police comes and saves her and kills Eddie. Then these character is kind of traumatized a lot, so her therapist recommends her to go to this rehabilitation center to kind of, you know, get her life uh, back again, to kind of move on, to help her move on. But that camp is not the best place for her. Yes. So I saw this when I was very young. All I remember from watching it the first time was the video store sequence, which is right at the beginning. And I have to say that I appreciate the beginning taking place in a video store because a lot of these world movies, not saying it's a bad thing, but they take place, you know, the first scene outside, maybe in a tent, in the forest, in the wild, and someone is attacked by a werewolf. Which is, you know, it's good, it's great, but it's also fun to see the first scene taking place in a different type of location that you might not expect from the opening of a werewolf movie. And I love video stores. I used to go a lot to video store when I was a young kid, so, you know, I was like, oh, feels good. So I really appreciate that this opening with a video store sequence. And also Dee Wallace, it's always amazing to watch her. She has such a presence whenever she's on the screen. No matter which character she plays or in which genre of uh, film, you know, she's just amazing in everything. She, she's just so natural. That That's it. She just plays everything very natural. natural. It's not forced. And she was perfect for this part. And... I do have to say that this movie is not really that fast paced, like maybe let's say the last movie I reviewed, like Dog Soldiers, but uh, it's alright, it kind of fits this movie that we have kind of, you know, the video store and I want to have kind of a slow build up to really introduce the characters, to just build up that kind of creepy atmosphere of what is really going on here and to really build up the Wallace's character and the rela relationships she has between her and her husband. So we're introduced to all of these kind of characters uh, at the camp or, rehab or center and we kind of quickly figure out that something probably is you know, not going to be okay here but we aren't sure what or who or when that will appear. And I do like this uh, movie a lot. Uh, I think the first half is really good. Then it kind of slows down a bit. And it really picks up at, at the end. So before the movie ends, rightly, you know, before the last, last scene is over, I was like, well, this is, this is a good movie. You know, maybe a 7 out of 10 or something like that. And then we get to the last scene, the entirely last scene of the film, which really just picks it up again. And 
I forgot that this movie ended with that scene and when it did I was like whoa this is amazing I'm so happy that they picked this ending it was so good so it really just picked out up the movie picked up the grade and I'm so happy they went with this type of ending so this is my review of the movie or my review this is my edition of the movie I'm sorry I'm a bit tired okay and this is Polish edition as you can see this is not Swedish this is Polish it says Skodit and I think it means the howling uh, this is a yeah, it's for Polish mineral water don't really need that and it's a one disc doesn't have anything special not really unfortunately yeah but I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10 so we have another good werewolf movie yes so uh, off to a really strong start this month but yeah please let me know your own thoughts about the howling in the comments below I know you got them between this and dog soldiers which one is your favorite I heard a lot of people having this as the number one or having dog soldiers as the number one so please let me know your thoughts I you know I gave both of them an 8 out of 10 so it's really hard but you know different feels different type of werewolf movies oh but I also like the werewolves in this one I did, but I have to say that the werewolves and dog soldiers are still my favorites. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this review, and I hope you've had an amazing weekend, and I hope you will have an amazing week. Bye.